All right, we're back for part two of our mono printing. And for this first practice one, we're gonna do a mountain scene that has some color. And so it's okay for this first one to print out a picture to reference, just so we're really learning how to do the mono print process. So I printed it out the same size as our plexiglass, which is eight by 10. And with this, I put it right underneath. And then I have my tray here and my tray, I put just a small amount of what's called mono printing ink. So for example, if I wanted to add this raw sienna to my tray, I could open it up and I'm just going to put a small amount in my tray here that I want to use. Okay, so just um, like I said, put some in your tray. And then the next step is I'm going to start with the, the dark areas first. So if you look at this, um, we've got some darker mountain scenes here. And so I'm going to use this cobalt blue color. And you want to be careful that you don't want to get too much ink around the edge of the plate or the plexiglass because you don't want it to squeeze off the print. So um, I'm just brushing this on. And like I said, you can use this as a guide, which is really nice. And you can always go back and grab more ink if you need it, but you really for these, you don't need a lot of ink. So those little wells in the paint tray are gonna be plenty. So the cobalt blue is kind of a darker blue um, that I'm using for this bottom mountain. And then as I go up here, it's a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna use um, this other blue, but it's not quite the right shade. It needs to be just a tad darker. So I'm gonna go in the middle of my tray here and I'm gonna mix just a little bit of that cobalt blue, a little bit darker. So it's kind of an in between those two blues. So you can mix colors too, just like you do in painting. And I'm gonna come in here. And add that color. Yeah, the name monoprint, mono means one. So from this print, we are only going to get one copy. So um, we're going to get one print from this mono print. So this is, like I said, this mountain scene. We're kind of practicing. Just I really want you to learn how the process of a mono print works. And then we're going to do a series of four prints after that. So it's just really working on seeing how the ink reacts to the plate, how to apply the, the ink, just so we get an idea for that. All right, on the top there, I want it to be just a tad darker, so I'm gonna go back to that cobalt color here and just make it a little bit darker on the top of those mountains with that darker cobalt color. Just build that up. I'm kind of dabbing here. Give it a little bit of a texture on the print. All right, then our sky. 
um, with our sky on the top there we've got some of that blue coming through so I'm going to and I'm going to use my brush strokes and I'm using it um, and I'm going to go horizontal with my brush strokes for that sky back and forth all right then I want to work in some of that orange ish color and you have to be really careful especially when you're trying to blend orange and blue that you don't go back and forth too much because what can happen is you'll get a brown color so I'm just going to lay down that orange down the middle here. All right, and then I'm going to work that orange in. Okay, and you start to see some yellow orange, so I could mix up some yellow orange in the middle of my tray here. Some yellow orange going on in there. And then it's a little bit more red orange, so I'm going to mix up some red with some of that orange. back in with the yellow. All right, I'm going to smooth that out. I'll fix that up. Touch that cobalt up with my brush there. Where it that could happen to you where it splashes a little bit. some oranges in here and reds okay you see a little bit of purplish kind of red so I'm gonna red violet work some of that in more orange in there into the yellow that yellow is a little bit runny so it's like purple in here. So I'm going to touch my cobalt up here at the bottom. Alright, then I can kind of lift it up and see if I missed any spots. Okay, you can kind of see I missed this spot right here where I need to add a little bit more color. So I'm going to set that back down and add a little bit more of that orange color.
Okay, and you can even go as far as to experiment a little bit. And this is, like I said, your chance to experiment. See how these mono prints work. And you can go in with a paper towel and, you know, blot up. And if you want to give like a cloud-like effect, you could try and see what that looks like. So I want you to experiment a little bit so you can kind of see, you know, how this works, how you blend with this mono print. Um, remember with that sky, colors that are next to each other on the color wheel tend to blend better together. If you have complementary colors, colors that are across from each other on the color wheel, like remember orange and blue here, you can't go back and forth too much or you get a brown, so you have to be careful with that because those are complementary colors. Elkhorn colors are complementary colors that create that brown or Christmas colors. So just kind of be aware of that. Um, but kind of that's the next step is to add your paint down and then you're going to let it dry and then I'll go through the next step. So that's the next step.